Hi there, I'm Tristan Reyes, and this is Gaming Instincts. At E3 2019, Ubisoft announced Gods and Monsters, an action RPG developed by Ubisoft Quebec, the team behind Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The cel-shaded Greek fantasy adventure was slated for release in February 2020, and showcased only a brief cinematic trailer infused with colorful hues and mythical creatures. As of January 2020, information on the game continues to be sparse, other than a pushback to a later release date. Frustrating Assassin's Creed Odyssey and Breath of the Wild fans alike, without so much as a gameplay trailer on which to feast their eyes on. Everything we know so far. Gods and Monsters is a storybook adventure set on the Isle of the Blessed, an open world filled with rich, vibrant colors and dangerous Greek monsters. Taking the role of Phoenix, the game's fully customizable protagonist, the player seeks help. The player helps the gods of Olympus fight back against the deadliest creature in all of Greek mythology, Typhon. Building off the lessons in lore and research gleaned from Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Jonathan Dumont and Mark Alexis Cote, creative director and senior producer of the game, mentioned in Ubisoft's official blog interview that gods and monsters will have a light and humorous story and a rigorous historical approach. The story is narrated by Homer, who is retelling the tale to his grandchildren while they interrupt and ask questions, allowing the game to poke fun at times. The stories of the ancient gods and their misadventures have existed through generations of storytelling and audiences, and have transformed into tales we still know and love today. Cote said during the E3 presentation, Now these stories have shaped our dreams and helped us build something new. Whereas for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the devs had to work within the confines of established Assassin's Creed lore, they can now, instead, focus on bringing this fantasy Greek world to life. Players can expect to see a full host of gods inhabiting Mount Olympus, and even travel to the mountain itself, facing mythical creatures like Hydras, Gorgons, Harpies, and more in fast-paced ground and air combat. So far, fans have compared the game to Nintendo's acclaimed The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild due to its cel-shaded aesthetics, as well as the possibility of Fennec swinging a sword, shooting arrows from his bow, and making the use of a stamina meter. However, it remains to be seen just how close in gameplay the final product will be to either Breath of the Wild or Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Roots in the Creed The player will be able to change their appearance, armor, gear, and stats to their liking, similar to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Judging from Ubisoft Quebec's roots, players can likely expect multiple of said game's features to be included in Gods and Monsters. While quality of life improvements like the wardrobe, where the player unlocks an item's appearance once looting it, and can then use that appearance over any other piece of gear, and customizable enemy level scaling, so that even as gear and skill set improve, the game maintains a level of challenge, have yet to be confirmed. They are treasured aspects of Odyssey, and will likely be included. The Isle of the Blessed is host to many dangerous monsters, interesting puzzles, and exciting dungeons to explore. The Twelve Gods of Olympus reside on the mountain and help Phoenix by blessing him with their powers. So it will be interesting to see each god's unique themes and abilities come into play during combat, adventuring, and within the character's skill tree itself. Odyssey's skill tree and combat ventured off the standard Assassin's Creed formula with the ability to channel mythical god powers, ignite weapons on fire, and even tame wild beasts. Now with no ties to the Creed, it's exciting to imagine all the possibilities when it comes to combat and power. Microtransactions have yet to be mentioned. However, if once again compared to Odyssey, it's likely gods and monsters will feature cosmetic pieces such as armor, weapons, and mounts for sale on the game's store. Not that store has been confirmed. Hopefully, Ubisoft Quebec is playing out quality, downloadable future content as well. As Assassin's Creed Odyssey's Fate of Atlantis DLC was praised by fans and critics alike, Thankfully, Odyssey wasn't just pay to win, and had no drawbacks to simply playing the game as it was, without even venturing onto the store. A Painterly World The game's release trailer opens with a sketch being drawn, a still canvas giving rise to images of thick white clouds and scenic greenery, followed by morphing into the game's true painterly art style displaying a world rich with vivid colors and offering a light-hard yet artistic look. As the camera flies by and the narrator speaks of the hero to save the gods, a Gorgon lurches its way across the fields right as Phoenix comes into view, staring down the menacing harpy. The game paints a lovely picture indeed, and the sneak peek at Ubisoft Quebec's cel shade Greek monsters is a cause for excitement. It's difficult to not think about how they'll design other monsters and gods, or even which will make an appearance. It would be a mistake not to include the monsters Kraken, or create side quests for lesser known gods like Demeter, who judging from how fertile the world looks, would be remiss to be absent. The recreation of gods like Zeus, Poseidon, and the rest of the Pantheon with these modern graphics will be great to see. It's confirmed that Mount Olympus is in the game, meaning other legendary Greek fantasy locales should be making an appearance. Perhaps players will find a long winding and treacherous labyrinth accompanied by a notoriously ill-mannered guest, 
or maybe Phoenix, will find himself in the depths of Hades itself. Ubisoft Quebec has in store for its many fans an exciting and perilous journey. Whatever adventure gods and monsters takes the player on, it's sure to be ripe with gorgeous locales and impressive monsters. Release date. At the initial E3 reveal, the game was slated for February 25th, 2020. However, according to a Ubisoft press release, there will be an increase of development time, pushing the game back by at least a couple of months. According to Ubisoft, Gods and Monsters as well as Watch Dogs Legion and Rainbow Six Quarantine were being delayed to continue work on next-gen optimization and ensuring all three titles would be ready for Xbox Series X and PS5. This isn't necessarily bad news, however, as it gives the devs more time to polish the game and make sure that what's released is a robust and engaging Greek fantasy RPG. The game should be expected no earlier than summer 2020, but there's no guessing the exact release date. It could be as far as Q1 2021, but more likely than not, fans will be able to get their hands on it for the holiday season. This has been Gaming Instincts, and we'll see you soon. If you enjoyed the video, leave us a like, subscribe if you want, and make sure to check out our website over at GamingInstincts.com for more gaming content from an unbiased perspective.